In less than 24 hours, people across the state will take part in municipal elections. For voters in southern Indiana, two hot races will be the big talker. News 10's Eric Sidman talked to election officials. It's new tonight from our Southern Bureau. They are the sure signs of the turning of the seasons, or maybe just a few signs that say, hey, it's election time. Voters will take to the polls in Vincennes and Bicknell, plus... Oaktown, uh, Sanborn, Wheatland, and Bruceville. Knox County Clerk Terry Allen says voters will be watching two hot races. The Bicknell mayoral slot has two candidates gunning for the job, and in Vincennes, three people are on the ballot for the clerk treasurer spot. One position not up for grabs, the Vincennes mayor's seat, which could be bad news for voter turnout. Sometimes that brings up more people if there's you know, more opposition or something. But this year, there was no mayor race in Vincennes. Um, so I think that may have been brought the numbers down a little bit. Even with the Vincennes top slot not up for grabs, Allen says if early voting numbers serve as a benchmark, voter turnout may turn out OK. Actually, it was pretty good, better than I thought it would be. Now, election officials here in Knox County point out one of the most common telephone calls they get is voters not knowing where to go to vote. They say if that's the case and your driver's license address does not match your current address, go to the polling location that you think you're supposed to go to. From there, polling workers will call the Knox County Clerk's Office and help you find your designated polling location. Knox County election officials say in municipal elections like this, every vote counts and they encourage everyone to get out and take part in vote. In Knox County, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. Of course, News 10 will be your number one source for election results. We'll have those for you online and on air tomorrow on News 10.